Hey y'all, today I got my order from Candles from the Keeping Rooms March 27th restock and I just want to share it with you real quick. Carol will be restocking um, the weekend of April the 12th so if you haven't had a chance to try Candles from the Keeping Room go to her Facebook page, I'll have it linked down below. You can check out the scents that she's going to offer and get on that Candles from the Keeping Room hoarding wonderful addiction. So real quick, I'm just going to go over the samples that I got. I'm not going to talk about them too much. I'm just going to show you what she sent and then I'll get into what I got. First up is a Raspberry Rainbow and it's in this cute little like grubby tart and it has sprinkles on it. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and then there's so many samples in this bag. Carol is so generous with her samples and you can request specific ones if you haven't had a chance to try her scents. Next up is Fruity Gems. This is a little pink bunt cake. I'm interested to try that. This one is Strawberry Jam and it's in a little crueler donut. This one is Marshmallow and Butter Brickle. I've never had a Butter Brickle scent so interested to see how this one melts. Um, this one is Wildberry Filled Twinkies, and it's in the most adorable bunny shape. That Butter Brickle one was in a bunny too. So cute. This one's also a bunny. Blueberry and Cream. This one is Kiwi Strawberry. This is the only thing that I have ever smelled that I cannot stand from Candles by the Keeping Room. It has to be the Kiwi because I love her strawberry and I don't know what it is about that Kiwi. Um, this one is Miss Elves Melon Patch, and it's in a little orange heart. This one is Mango and Mandarin. Blue Snow Cones. It's in an Easter egg. Super cute. And I have two more. There's Lemon Ice Cream Scoop Bread. I've never tried an ice cream scoop bread scent, so I'm interested to try this. It's a really nice bakery lemon, not a cleaner lemon. And then I have one more pink sangria Bath and Body Works type. Love Bath and Body Works candle and pink sangria, so I'm interested to try that. Okay, then we have four ounce bags. I think I got 11. We have tangerine and lemongrass. It's in this bunt cake, yellow on the top, orange on the bottom. So precious. Wonderful tangerine. Then you get the lemongrass. You get a nice herbaly green note. It's really nice. Perfect for this time of year. Next is orange cranberry muffin. It's in the little grubby cake. Um, this is strong on the cranberry, pretty strong on the orange. I don't get too much muffin, um, but I do get a spice. That'll be really nice for fall. I've never tried Wildberry Mousse from any vendor before, so I ordered it this time. I will be ordering from like every vendor possible because this is amazing. So good. This is what the tart looks like. Mmm, love it. I also decided that I would try this one, which is Wildberry Mousse Zucchini. Candles from the Keeping Room has really good zucchini scents and it's a little pink toast. That one smells really good too. It, you can definitely pick out the wild berry mousse, but then you get this really nice spice from the zucchini. This one is French baguette, and it's in another little toast shape. This is a really nice um, true French bread scent. It's not yeasty by any means so if you like bread but you don't like the yeasty bread scents try that one out this one is so true to smell cornbread muffins this is like cracker barrel cornbread and you put butter on them and let it melt oh my gosh or like homemade cornbread if you make homemade cornbread so good love it no yeastiness this is muscadine and it's in the adorable sunflower shape in a really pretty lavender color. Um, this one is not my favorite. This is probably my least favorite of the bunch. I ordered it 
thinking, oh, maybe I'll like this, maybe I won't. Very strong grapey scent, um, and I'm not a grape person. However, I definitely will melt it. Um, it's not so terrible I won't melt it, but if you're a grape person, really try to get your hands on this. I think you'd like it. This one is mold grapefruit, and it's in a little cruller donut shape. Um, very strong like cinnamon clove spices in there and then you get a little hint of grapefruit that will be saved for the autumn oh it will smell so good this one is sweet crescent rolls um, this is a cute little like grubby tart muffin scallop tart whatever you want to call it this one is very very strong on a yeasty note which I love in bread scents you don't like yeasty bread scents stay away from sweet crescent rolls because that one has a yeasty scent this one is huckleberry harvest and it's a purple one now there's grape in this just not as much as the muscadine and there's other berries to count counterbalance it out so I like this too if you like berry scents try out Huckleberry Harvest. She has really nice berry scents. They're really nice and authentic. Okay, and the last four ounce bag that I got is in sugar milk. It's in a white bundt cake. This is just really nice. It's a very wonderful scent. I'm excited to try to blend that one. Then I have four of the eight ounce bags, which is the largest bag she sells. This one is wild berries and sugar milk. And it comes in this pretty pink tart. Just a really nice blend of, and it's definitely more wild berry than it is sugar milk. I really like that. I had samples of it and I didn't like it that much, but I decided to order it anyways. And it smells different than it did in the samples. Okay, this one is lemon meringue. And it came in the little lattice pie shapes. This one to me is more of a cleaner lemon than it is um, bakery which doesn't bother me. I like cleaner lemons when I'm cleaning, but um, to me, I wouldn't have ordered, I wouldn't have put that in a bakery scent. That lemon is more of a pine saw cleaner lemon. This one is Melonade. This is really nice. It's a really good blend of lemons, lemonade, <laughs> lemons, lemonade and um, melon scents. It's really nice. You can tell it's a drink. Like when you open the bag, it smells like a drink. So that's really good for summertime. And the last one that I got is another drink scent in the drink shop. This is in, hopefully it'll let you see that. Strawberry Shake, there we go. And it's in a little sunflower shape. This is really nice. Um, it's, I think it's more strawberry than anything. I don't really get a shaky, um, like creaminess to it. Definitely get mostly strawberry. So if you're into strawberry scents, really try that one out because it smells real good. It smells like a fresh strawberry to me. So anyways, that is all I got from Candles from the Keeping Room. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope that um, during Carol's next restock, you have a chance to get in on that because her scents are phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.